working with the high endurance athletes, such as cyclists. And the cyclist goes through this period of long, long training. They now use the lip locker to help them learn and maintain, sustain the oblock that helps them utilize less energy and continue their recovery as their long endurance sport requires. The switch point. The switch point is when we go from the up lock to the free lock. The up lock is the most efficient resting posture. And resting and the recovery in this long term sport, like cycling, needs to be maintained during those times because it's endurance, they want to be efficient with their breathing without expenditure of extra energy. When they get to the point where they're in a hill or they're at the end of the race, they want to increase the use of energy. So they, they need to get that oxygen, that extra oxygen. And that's when we go from up lock to the free lock. The free lock means all the valves are open and the air is coming in through the nose and the mouth, both. So we're using all the possible oxygen that we can take. And this is, again, when we're going uphill or we're exerting ourselves or we are at the very end of a race where we need maximum oxygen, maximum performance. And then in a long endurance sport like cycling, we go in and out of this switch point. So what do the athletes do? We're doing some testing and we've given them the lip locker. You will see some of them put it in a string around their neck so they can use it and this helps them generate that negative pressure of the up lock and it reminds them, it gives them the feedback that their mouth is fully sealed, sealed from the airway so the nose is yeah, taking air, air efficiently so they're not utilizing any muscular uh, voluntary energy to get that airing. The up locker and the lip locker are now part of their armamentarium for recovery, for resting, for sleeping better, and learning to expend less energy in the times where they're not performing or in between their performing times. Primeramente, medimos la nariz. Respire tranquilamente y medimos también el oxímetro de pulso, frecuencia y respiración oxígeno. El cambio de descanso. Ok, gracias. Voy. Estás a 150, ¿eh? Sí, 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 Muy bien. Entonces medimos una diferencia en, en ambas partes de la nariz. 
aquí, en la primera medición muestra una resistencia más alta que la, la izquierda. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo te sentiste? Pues muy bien y sentí mi recuperación mucho más veloz. Fue en la mitad del tiempo. Wow. Wow.